all protocols having been observed, Honorable Minister of Public Health, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who may not have had the opportunity of meeting me professionally, as yet, <laughs> my name is Bayer Ohari, H-E-R-R-Y. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm based in the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation. And we have, from satisfactory to excellent conditions there. So if you come, there will be a high degree of confidentiality. Our new patients do not always have to go and bundle up in the big crowd who are there just to say hello to us. Now, having heard Paulette, and thank you so very much, Paulette, I don't know if my job is now easier or tougher. Uh, we have done some studies at the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation. We use that as a sentinel site. We've done two big studies on suicide, completely suicide and suicide attempts. One which went from 2003 to 2007, and the other from 2010 to 2012. Our studies are ongoing. Um, our findings are very similar. And what I will do here, I'll give you some information to basically complement what Paulette has said earlier. Uh, where the age groups are concerned, that is consistent. But I must let you know that people over 50 years of age account for about 16% of those who commit suicide. Uh, we have like almost four males to one female dying through suicide. And like Paul has said, poisoning accounts for the majority, just over 65%. Hanging takes about 20%. Our regions, yes, they do coincide. We have regions 2 and 6, where the incidence is about 50 per 100,000. Regions 3 and 4, about 37 per 100,000. And the other regions with smaller figures ranging between 5 and 13. Uh, we do, we do uh, place ourselves among the leading causes of death in the different age groups below 44. Um, what is very striking is that, and I guess most of us may know this, what we call East Indians in Guyana are comfortable with almost 80% of those who die by suicide and we make up probably 40% of the population. We have an estimate of about 20, 25 persons attempting suicide to everyone completing suicide. We have not lost hope, let me tell you that. We are still very hopeful, a lot is, a lot is being done. Um, what is very striking is that for the cases who have attempted suicide, 50% are below 25 years of age, 50%. 30% of those would be 12 and 18. Of the cases who attempt suicide, we have like about three females to one male. Why so many males die against females? Well, more studies can be done, but for sure we know the methods used are more lethal. Um, here, the East Indians account for 50%, afro Guyanese 30%. What we found very interesting is that Hindus accounted for about 30, that's one third of those who attempted suicide. Just like the Pentecostal, one, I was once asked, so how come the Pentecostal people and the Hindus are competing with about 30%? Just one third, you know? I said, I don't know. We probably have to look and see if the Pentecostals were probably Hindus before. <laughs> we have done some studies. You may want to call it quasi studies, but we have much more to do. The methods are very similar for the suicide attempts, just that the methods, the, 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 the means are less, less lethal. Okay? So people use from the very uh, lethal gramaxo for the less thing of probably popping up a few multivitamins. Some use paracetamol and other things. Um, 
there are factors that Paulette alluded to are the very same factors that we found. What is interesting is that GFEHC for the last few months of 2016, we found a reduction in the number of cases. What we found interesting is the number of cases that died through the use of carbon taps, which is used to treat rats, have increased. So I would not go over our time of 20 minutes, which we share, but we're going to continue to connect, communicate, and care. Thank you.